What's up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to use your MSI Afterburner to basically increase the fan speed, overclock it and all that other good stuff. So let's get right into this. So we're going to download two softwares, one is the MSI Afterburner, this is the one that everyone's familiar with or if you're not, this is like one of the easiest ones that you can use. I believe they have a newer version, I'm still kind of testing it out, don't want to kind of play around with that yet, but this is their final stable download or version per se for said burner. And the other one that we're going to download is called Furmark which is going to be used for, you know, testing out what's your perfect GPU settings. So obviously I already have these two downloaded and I'll leave the link in the description below for you guys to kind of play around and check out. And um, this is basically how both softwares look like. So the one on the left hand side is the MSI Afterburner and the one on the right hand side is the Firmark software that I just mentioned to you uh, a second ago. Now, what both of these softwares do is, so MSI Burner, this is where you can actually play around with your graphic card and do all the good stuff <laughs> that you're trying to basically do and achieve. Now, if you look over here, you can kind of play around with your power limit, the temperature limit, the core clock, and its memory clock. Um, so one of the first things I'm going to say is over here, always have this option enabled, the startup portion. This kind of helps it make sure it doesn't get crashed. It kind of keeps it like in a consistent pattern per se. So always just kind of make sure you have that. Uh, I have the GeForce. GTX 1080 Ti, and again, if you're watching this, maybe depending on whatever time you're watching it, maybe it's crypto phase right now, maybe it's just for gaming purposes. You want to kind of you know overclock it and make get the best or most use out of your graphic card. So what I recommend is downloading this software called Firmark. It's a GPU stress test, and in here. You can basically play around and see what works best. You can kind of give it a resolution. You can put in 4K. You can do the presets like you see over here for the benchmark. I did 4K. And then you can kind of change the clock speed, the memory, and see what keeps it stable. And like I said, the, and you can also unlock the core voltage. I can do that in another video, but the, in the option section, you can unlock the core voltage and basically then change the voltage section as well, which this is more for mining purposes. And it may be gaming as well, but I feel like miners use it more because you want to obviously get more use out of it with less electricity because then you'll get build less. So you'll make more profit mining. So if you are using, I can't even think of a math, but like 100 watts an hour and you can make the core watts I'm probably doing terrible math, like 75 watts, you'll, you'll using that much then, but the same output is coming still, then obviously you'll get charged less. So a lot of people just kind of do that. So what you can do is once you do this, and again, be cognizant, this is a very heavy running software. So you can see like it already started like jumping up. You can see the, uh, the temperature is already jumping up like crazy. Um, normal temperature is for the GTX 1080 Ti, and just please do some research for your own graphic card, is about 80-ish degrees Celsius. Uh, I don't know what that converts to Fahrenheit. Uh, I think about 180, 190. Uh, maybe I'm doing the numbers wrong. But you can kind of see, as long as this is not glitching or bugging out, you are basically good to go. So you uh, you can continue like changing the core speed and like making it go up more, seeing does it work, does it still stay stable. And you can see, if as long as this is not glitching and bugging out, you can kind of continue doing like, I don't know, in increments or five or whatever, and then seeing how bad is it going or what's the limit? Is it still good? Is it still not bugging out? As you can see, this is 247 frames per second. I'm still doing pretty good. Um, my frames per second aren't really changing much. You can see the test is happening on a 1280 times 720 screen because that's what this uh, monitor is currently. Um, but obviously, you, you, it's you to try to mess around with, like, try to do more. As you can see, the fan speed, you also want to, like, be cognizant of your fan speed. You don't want to go too high or too low. Um, going too high is kind of bad because it can reduce the fan speed i always when I, I personally do mining so i try to keep it around 75 i keep around that and my temperature usually stays at 70 ish that's my personal goal or preference that's what i try to keep it for um but again you got to kind of be cognizant and take it from that perspective um so you can see the the gp the the the, the celsius or temperature is going lower now it's still running stable like i said you're supposed to play around and kind of see what works best for you you can change the temperature limit you can change the power limit again you can change all of these things and this is basically how you play around with the msi afterburner again you can get the latest build also i will make another video on how that one works it's a completely different looking type situation but yeah you can kind of play around with that also but yeah this is basically how you use the msi afterburner it's again fairly simple to use you just change the fan speed over here um if for some reason you can't change the fan speed it's probably because you have auto enabled don't have auto enabled i don't like it i like to have the fan speed chosen myself um you can easily change the like i said the limits and clock speed over here and you also have like overclock features over here that the system itself gives you but 
it's better to kind of play around and do it yourself but yeah that's basically it uh that's exactly how you use it and um this is like a quick tutorial on how to basically use it overclock it and you know just take it from there uh like i said as you can see my megahertz and everything went back to normal <laughs> don't need to go crazy anymore uh just gonna make a zero you can have profiles as well so you can have like certain gaming profiles all right it's like bugged a little bit too much you can have certain gaming profiles or mining profiles and then you know you can save each profile and then utilize the specific one for whatever you're trying to do at that time so yeah um overall this was basically it i do hope you guys found this video helpful and informative if you did please smash that like button helps a lot if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that more tutorials out peace